2008 Infiniti M45 Sport. I was taking the car for a test drive after doing a, an extensive list of work on it. You know, my 200,000 mile tune-up is what I called it. Yes, I know it hasn't really reached 200,000 yet, but I get pretty busy. My tire pressure light came on and on the dash I could see what exactly was wrong. It did not like this pressure right here. This one here, 33, that's pretty good. No complaints, 30, it had no complaints about it. This one here had not even shown up yet, but it just did not like that one yet. So what I'm gonna do right now is I could do it one or two different ways. Well, that doesn't even work. I was looking for a tire gauge, tire pressure gauge, but I don't have one. I do have something that might work pretty well though. Here it is, a tire inflator, digital one. And this one is pretty cool. You can connect it to the wall or you can use your car, you know, your cigarette lighter car charger as a charging port to it. So I like it, it's pretty good. What I'm gonna do is, if I remember right, this one said 33 PSI, the other side said uh, 20, 26, 31 in the back, this one here, no one had any idea what it was. So first thing, let's open it. And then this side, you have a connection and your electrical plug. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. Okay, we are ready here. Nice good readings I'll start with this one it's not just an inf um, an inflation device but it can actually you can use it to get readings obviously the digital pressure versus what you get for whenever you use the tire gauge might be a little different and for now I want to just use this as a baseline it said 33 inside there what do we see here hook it up Let me get this a little closer so I could just push it in and see what it tells me or I could just lock it in 32.8 so it's not too crazy right not too far off oh it's building up I would like it to be at 34 so what I'm gonna do is pump up my setting whoa 34 great they do recommend that you know for a tire a tire a car tire 35 psi be the max but then hit oh 33 so it's it seems pretty accurate for now start and that's it we're good so i'm gonna go ahead and pull it out nice and now I'll go and, well first let me verify what it says now, that I pumped it up to 34. Still says 33 for now, but that's okay. I'm going to just work with it and have all of them at 34. If you're curious about what your tire pressure should be, open your door, come right here. See that? It tells you what the tire pressures should be. 33 PSI cold. Cold means you haven't driven it at all or anything like that but sometimes I aim for 35 but today 34 is gonna have to do so there's a set point it's still there let's get this one ready as well still a 34 it was 31 according to Okay. Yeah, not too far off, but let's start. So I expect that within a few minutes, maybe not even a whole minute, the, the reading on the other side is going to reflect what we just did. It usually has a little bit of a lag. Yeah, this one is the one that showed nothing at all, so let it be. I'm gonna go to the other corner, which showed 
it's now 28 was it 26 initially I feel like it was but I don't know I'll go check front right wheel this is the one that said 28 on there I'll hook it up and see what the actual field number is okay that's giving me a little bit of trouble okay 28 okay seems like we're not too far honestly I'm liking this thing This one had a reading and I'm hoping it will shortly show me what the real numbers are. Alright, this is what I see so far. 32. Not too bad. I'll come back at it and you know play with it again and see what the numbers shake out to be, but I'll take 32. I'm gonna go to the back and again aim for 34. Whether it really does it or not, that's a different story, but at least that's where my intentions are. Let's see what it shows if I put it right against it. It's kind of struggling when I do that. 31.5 after releasing a little bit versus whatever it's showing me. So the only thing I can say about this is that I have set it to a an even number, but even when I used to do it manually using the tire stick, tire pressure stick, the numbers over there never showed up to be the same. Normally I would have to play with the with the pressures, you know, release air from one corner or another because I, I was very anal about that. I really I preferred seeing even numbers. So we'll see what happens after I drive for a little while. Maybe the numbers will even out differently. I feel like that one definitely was more than one PSI for the amount of time it ran, but we'll see. So I like it. So far I like it. It does come with a warning, by the way. Is this the one? Um, okay, make sure the engine is running if you're using this one right here. Let me show you what the other side looks like. It's just this type of connection right I don't intend to use it this is more of a home kit for me it usually has a warning somewhere here that after maybe it was in the manual that I bought the thing with maybe it's here okay there you go store indoors allow inflator to cool five minutes after each three minutes of continuous operation I don't think I hit three minutes of continuous operation but it is something to look into. This is definitely not the kind of thing you want to buy if you have a commercial operation and you're constantly doing it because you might end up overheating the motor. But for me, I think it's working just fine. I hope this video is pretty helpful maybe. See how hand handy it can be. I think it cost me like not more than 30 bucks at Home Depot some time back.